Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. NIFT has already released admission form for BASH 2022. So in this video, we are going to talk about them and how you can prepare for NIFT in these two months. So without wasting much of the time, let's start the video. Before getting into technical terms about how you can prepare for NIFT, let's discuss the academics calendar given by them. So admission forms have been released in the first week of December itself and the last date to fill up these forms are uh, is the first week of January. So in and around you have one month to fill the form. You will have your written exam in the first week of February itself and you will get your admit card in the third week of January and then you will have situation test in April. And before situation test, they will announce the result of first round that they will announce in March. And after your situation test, your counseling will happen in around May or June. And then from July, your new session will start. Now let's discuss about how you can prepare for NIFT. Since we are only left with two months. So we have to cover main main topics that are required for our test. So for uh, let's start with creative ability test. I'm going to tell you few main topics that you should cover before going to NIFT entrance exam. So you should have a little bit understanding about 2D and 3D drawing. Working with shapes, you should understand what shape uh, gives what kind of feeling and create multiple things out of shape. Uh, you should learn perspective drawing like one point, two point, and third, three point perspective. You should learn. You should learn color psychology, what are colors and what are their meanings and how they can change the mood. You should learn that because that would help you in, you know, coloring up your sketches and designs what you are going to make in your entrance exam. Scale and proportion is the main thing which you should learn. Like uh, most of the students I've seen is uh, they know how to sketch a human, but they will draw this big face and this tiny, you know, rest of the body so it looks very cartoonish so you need to maintain the scale uh, like in everything should be in proportion uh, nothing should be out of proportion because if it's out of proportion it would look very odd or comic you should know human anatomy as i already said ki uh, students do a lot of mistakes in creating humans faces and human body so they give a lot of questions in where you have to sketch human body so you should learn how to sketch your human body and you should also practice uh, like uh, room view, road view and something like in one point perspective, two point perspective and you should also learn how to compose things. Uh, if for example, you're composing room, you should know how to compose a room and what all things you should put into a room. After that, uh, you should understand your gadgets, how your gadgets work and like how you can handle your material. like. You have stateless to how to use stateless. You should understand how it works so that you can make the best use of them. And one of the basic exercise I will uh, say you to practice is working on lines, working with lines. You can like free hand. You should draw free hand. Practice drawing lines with free hands because it will not only help you to improve your drawing, but it will also help you to you know um, sketch your drawing faster and you will be able to complete your exam of CAT very quickly. So talking about journal ability test, journal ability test also have certain important topics like in maths, they are going to definitely give one question from LCM. You are going to definitely have one question from LCM, one question from percentage and so on. In this video, I'm not going to talk about them. You can message me on Instagram. I will share a JPG with you and you can cover all these topics because the list would be quite long. Talking about how you can check your preparation level is by solving multiple sample papers. So I have these wonderful sample papers which will help you in understanding the format of NIFT exam that what kind of question are going to come and also you can check your preparation level by them. So these sample papers you can find on the website Mintag. I will link the website in my description. You can check them out. So if you are planning to buy these sample papers, you can use my promo code DTL60 you will get 60% off while using these promo code and you can get your sample papers in around 179 or 189. 
you should try them out because they will give you an idea what kind of question paper NIFT sets for this, their students. Yeah, if you have more doubts, you can ask me in the comment box or you can ask me on my Instagram account. I will give the link in my description. You can also share the work done by you on my Instagram and I can give you a feedback like how are you doing and how you can improve. Uh, and yeah, like this would be very helpful for you to how like getting an idea how to attempt because I also did that when I was preparing. So yeah, these are the few things that you should try while preparing for NIFT. With this, I end. Take care. Bye-bye.